Yo, yo, it's your boy Jay Boogie back with another video today. Today, I will be talking about no other than one of my favorite point guards of all time. Personally, my top five favorite point guards of all time. No other than one of the smartest point guards of all time. Ron John, Rondo. Man, pretty much, man, this pretty much had a well-rounded career. And man, like Rondo is it, just one of the smartest point guards you've ever seen in your life. This dude can read the defense and read the offense like it's nothing. And for him being that point guard to put up a stat line with eight points, 10 rebounds, and then throwing 19 assists in the sleep any given single night. And pretty much, man, you see in this clip that's rolling right now, you know, his passing is it, just phenomenal. He, he, it, his, his timing of his passes is, is well calculated, and the fact that he can see through the defense and know what type of, uh, you know, read that's going to make, what type of um, zone, what type of coverages, drop coverages, double teams, all of that. He read all of that, and he just, he's like a, it's like a meta, it's like a, um, it's like a mind trick type thing, and it's like mind games and. Rondo is pretty much, if he was in his prom today, I think every team would call him up <laughs> and like pretty much trying to get him, you know, to be on that team because he's such a very intelligent point guard. And, you know, like I said, pretty much, man, like you see his stats, you know, not the biggest shooting point guard, but his, uh, his pass and display, his defense, um, and his knack for getting rebounds for his size and height. And, you know, pretty much, like I said, four-time All-Star, three-time assist leader. And I think he had a season where he was a, uh, the Steels uh, leader, like the Steels champ. And, you know, Ronzo Rondo is a guard that, you know, can, can operate the pick and roll like it's nothing. And a guy that <clears throat> can make anybody look spectacular because you know how to get guys to their hot spots, know how to do – Bounce passes, chest passes, pocket passes, all of it. And Ronjon Rondo, man, is is one of them guards where I had heavily watched, particularly since I was in the seventh grade. And, you know, I think he had a season where I believe he, uh, well, he was on a roll. I think it was his knockout season or during the 2012-13 season where he could have well been a top five MVP if he didn't get hurt because I think it was I think it was during the 2012 13 season he tore his ACL and I think he was on a roll and he was easily could have been a top five MVP candidate that season if he didn't get hurt because like I said Rondo like I said don't sleep on his scoring ability because he can't put up 20 10 and 20 kind of like the Jokic's and the Luka Doncic nowadays and Ronjon Rondo was was phenomenal in his prom, and to this day, to win a champ, to win a championship with a team that drafted you or got you from the draft, which is the Celtics, and then going to their rivalry team, be an impact in the bubble, make a difference, and win a championship with the Los Angeles Lakers, man, that's that's unheard of because of the fact that when he's out, when he was out of his prom, he was still making great impact on teams. You know, his his aura is just built different because everybody knows, like, Rondo, oh, you know, he's just going to score. Like, no, 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 no. Rondo has a good match for the game. And honestly, like I said, being seen in this club, you see how he, how he operates on the floor. His passes, he can finish at the rim when he wants to. So he has a well-rounded offensive game in terms of just tactics, uh, IQ ability. And like I say, when he want to score, he can't really score because obviously, um, I think um, in a 2012 playoff, you see this stat right here. Uh, I think pretty much his playoff career high, he put up 44 points against the Miami Heat, and he had a double double, having having 10 assists. Really, almost had a triple double, having eight rebounds, and then of course he had three steals. So Rondo, like Rondo, man, I like I say, he's one of my top five favorite point guards of all time, and people. Give him credit, but people don't really. People don't put him or try try to mention him being a top five point guard of all time, simply because he doesn't score the basketball like the other point guards on that list. Because guys like uh, Jason Kidd wasn't a big scorer, 
But, you know, he was, I think, every single se season in his prime or at his peak, he was averaging double-digit points. Unlike Rondo, who had, who had probably a good five to six seasons where he was averaging double-digit points. So, um, Rondo, Rondo, man, like I said, man, he's one of the most intelligent basketball players in the world, in the NBA. And then, you know, like I said, Rondo... If Rondo was to get picked up today out of his prime or in his prime, anybody would easily pick him up. Anybody would want to see his in-game coaching ability, outside of the game coaching ability. And Rondo, Rondo man, like I said, man, this dude is, 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 is incredible in all aspects of the game. And for his, like I said, for his prime when he was in the league with the Celtics, you know, he was, he was just impactful during that big three run. Even after they won that one championship, you know, he was – you see how impactful he was on the court and how much of an on-court leader in ter terms of uh, setting up plays, half court sets, just knowing how to get players involved within the offense. And then one of my other favorite seasons uh, of Rondo's from another team was the Sacramento Kings. It was him, DeMarcus Cousins, and a prime Rudy Gay. I think he – Led the NBA with six triple doubles that season, and I think it was during, during the 2015, 16 season, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, man, that was one of my other first seasons with Rondo because that could have been a playoff team, but it just didn't happen. Because like I said, you had a Rondo that was still, still some level could have been left in his prime, and then you had a prime held to Demarcus Cousins and still prime Rudy Gay, and that team is could have been a seven seed. A six seed team in the West, but you know how the West is. The West Conference has always been tough for decades, especially for the last past two decades or three. I say three, but um, I said, man, Rondo was Rondo was him, still is him. Um, I hope he get a head coaching job soon in college or in the NBA because anybody would love him to pick him the coach cause, and pick his brain because this dude. Intelligence for the game is top notch. So, so, so that's my history take on the great Ronjar Rondo. Let me guys, let me let me know, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about Ronjar Rondo. Is he in your top five point guards of all time, or, or is he in y'all top ten point guards of all time? No doubt about it. You like this video? Like, comment, share, subscribe. I love you guys. Jay Boogie is out.